I walk by this statue almost every day because I live nearby. I love to uh, listen to live music like a uh, rock band, alternative rock. How I got into music is when I was in seventh grade, I first started going to uh, church. Uh, so at the, at the time, uh, the friends I would hang out with were, we were in a worship team. I actually try to go to every uh, live music concert in UMB. I used to go to the, this music festival every year. But last year I couldn't go because I was busy. So this year I'm going there. I'm so excited actually. <laughs> Already. <laughs> I'm gonna go and find my friends now. So. I think Mongolia is changing for good. Of course, there are so many conflicts in the politics or. Uh, but still, it's, uh, it's a good thing. Well, I think about my future so bright. So uh, in five years, uh, I think I will have my own small business. Mongolia has a lot of opportunities. As long as the person is working hard, and being optimistic, there are lots of uh, opportunities. I was uh, born in the uh, eastern part of Mongolia, two brothers and two sisters, and then my parents moved to Ulaanbaatar, which is the capital city of Mongolia, and ever since I've been living in uh, Ulaanbaatar city. As a Mongolian growing up here in Mongolia, uh, I have a lot of relatives who lives out in the countryside uh, raising uh, livestock, uh, cows, horses, camels, goats and sheep. So when I was a little kid during the high school summer break, I would uh, go and stay with them uh, for uh, several weeks and that also helps me to introduce the travelers to the American lifestyle. Uh, they move at least four or five times a year. So this is uh, where they stay uh, during the summer. This nomadic lifestyle uh, been and changing nowadays into uh, a modern society. Have you ever tried this before? Yeah. Never. <laughs> you getting anything, Denise? Yeah. Yes, come on. When we go up to Bovsko Lake, uh, the lake area is beautiful scenery and people out there is really nice and uh, so it's really uh, great for travelers to be able to enjoy themselves and interact with the local people. And all the way to, you know, coming to all the way to Mongolia. You know, I really uh, love my country and I um, really enjoy uh, guiding and uh, showing my beautiful country to uh, foreigners and uh, this is really what I like to uh, do. I grew up here, and yeah, I would call myself a city girl, but I know countryside life too. When I was in high school, um, during the school break, I was helping my grandmother milking the cow in the morning, and I milked goat and sheep. When I'm growing up, uh, it was like trans transition. Mongolia, Mongolia was transiting from uh, communist time to democratic uh, time, so it was hard for me, for me and my family. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I was 
I'd like to introduce my family. And here's my dad, Patmung, uh, and here's my mom, Narantoya. So this is my next brother, Mukhfat. And this is my sister, Mukhtsuk. And he's my youngest brother, Mukhsus. When I graduated from high school, I couldn't go to university. So I started working. But my siblings were very close to me. So they were graduating from uh, high school right after me. So I decided to help them. And to pay for their university. So this is steamed dumpling. It's a traditional Mongolian uh, meal. It's very uh, common food during the celebration or every day family makes it. So my grandma uh, likes boards, so that's why we made the boards for her. So my grandma, when she was younger, <laughs> so we're going to uh, I'm going to visit her in the hospital because she's um she's at the hospital now. My grandparents they they actually lived in Ozambata when they were younger they worked here but after retired they decided to go out side of Ozambata live in the countryside as Indian people. I spent almost some whole summer vacation like two months one or two months with them <laughs> it was a great experience for me get to know how the countryside life is and how to herd animals This is my childhood friends. Uh, this girl, uh, she was my uh, classmate. We like grew up together. Like like as a little girls, we were discussing like, oh, we're never gonna marry anyone because they're gonna drink a lot and you know um, beat others. Or then so we never gonna marry or someone. But one day she came to me and said that, uh, MJ, I found a place. <laughs> Where, where we can find a good man to marry. And so I wondered, what were you talking about? Because she uh, went to church and she found so many good people there. So I just, you know, I'm curious. Uh, I was curious at first and so I went with her and kind of liked because there were so many people were like having fun. They were so kind to each other. So that's why I started going church. Also my dad, uh, my parents started going to church and so it helped a lot. It, it was a turn, turning point for my parents' uh, life. Uh, she's so lucky today. <laughs> Someone just bought uh, shoes. In summertime, uh, very few people come uh, inside because a lot of the wind vendors, they sell their Shoes outside. She's happy, right? Watch that. Esther, na. 